Hey guys, it is Chris back here again with another episode of MTGA. Doing more Brawl today. We're playing as Quintorius. He is the uncommon um, Lorehold commander from the main set. Main student. He's a legendary student. That's what he is. Um, he basically wants you to exile things from your own graveyard. Exile creatures from your own graveyard. So your plan of action is to basically get him down on the field and then use things like um, like escape. Plus there are a couple of cards from uh, Kaldheim that'll exile an enchantment or exile something from your graveyard, destroy an enchantment, or exile do something, or exile and pay certain and then you usually have an alternate casting cost for a card. So our main plan for the deck is just that. We play Quintus and we try to exile things from our yard. We're up against Narfi. Um, we actually played Narfi before. Although the Narfi deck we built wasn't the highest caliber of Narfi. Um, so our opponent is thinking over their options. I'm guessing they're probably considering whether or not it's worth it to remove our creature, and I guess they're going for it. So we get Raven formed, that'll exile our 3-3, three, three, and it'll give us a bird token. Um, and then they go to draw a card and lose a life. Both things are good. We will not block. Our Raven can be put to better uses. So we're going to play a Solemn Simulacrum. Very good card for getting out of land and drawing a card after it dies. Excellent chump blocker. A lot of things to like about Solemn. So we're up to five lands. At least now anyways. I was hoping, because next turn we'll be up to six lands, but we don't re we. I guess we have one way in the deck. That's one mana exile a card from our graveyard. So we play our commander. Mm. Actually, we're gonna go into Chandra. Chandra can draw us cards, get things in the yard, and snipe the smallest creatures that they play. Because with Narfi on board, their creatures are never going to really be two power and two toughness unless they have one toughness to begin with. Which generally I wouldn't imagine is too likely. I think most of the snow creatures out there are either one twos or two. Or, um, have two power. Tend to have bigger toughnesses than they actually have as far as um powers. Like Frost Dogger that they played a little while ago, um is a one drop, but it has two toughness. With Narf and the board it had three, so outside of our pay range. We couldn't block out the other one, so we might as well kill Narfi and make them recast it. Well, I say recast it. They're just going to pay three and get it back from the graveyard. We're going to draw a card off of our Solemn. The best thing we can find here is probably a Wrath. And if we can't find a Wrath, we'll probably end up behind in the game. Might even lose it because of it. But it's good to get the chance to see Narfi actually doing things. It's just a shame that we are the poor sod that has to be Narfied. Actually, I think we did win one game with Narfi, didn't we? So we finally cast Quintus. We do two to our opponent's face. We don't really want to discard our hand yet. 
I'm going to discard our hand until we at least get showed on the skulls on the battlefield. Our opponent is thinking over their options. They have something. Generally, at this point in the game, we'd actually be doing okay. So their opponent is out of most of their gas. I mean, they're working up towards... Mm, well, the trade-off of our creature for their creature wasn't very good for us. Our deck is built around Quintus. So when Quintus... When Quintus betrays us, that's pretty bad. All the men in the world still got things to do. Our main problem is just... Removing Quintus with the current eight cards we have access to, not possible. I didn't realize it when I played it, but um, that's actually going to get rid of our showdown of the skull. It's going to trade it for their enchantment, which isn't the worst. I mean, it's pretty bad because we can't benefit off the counters. And two of its lore counters go to our opponent. This time we block out the creature that can't replace itself. Hopefully it's not too late to prevent our opponent from doing something crazy. Midnight clock goes off. Quintus reacts to that. Our opponent has gotten more value out of our commander than we have. Very sad times, very sad days. We discard our hand because it's not doing anything for us. Get some more cards. Fortunately for us, they don't save the day. So we go into plan B for saving the day, which is Valamachus. He technically could hit one, I think maybe two Wrath in the deck. I think we have a Doom Scar and a uh, Shatter the Sky, but we might not. Either way, whatever he hits is our only hope. Uh, he didn't hit anything. We have a no hope. Those are very sad things to realize. Shut out of the skull to get the lore counter. Our opponent now may cast non creature spells and grow their board. It's not as though their board wasn't already grown. Hagger Mauling takes out our Valamachus, so we do not get a second chance to roll the dice. Also, very sad news for us. Shut out of the skull triggers because they cast it. A non-creature spell. Bold the multiverse, they will scry and draw. Looks like they at least wanted one of the things on the top of their library. We can exile their yard if we'd like to give them additional uh, spirits to hit us with. Chandra will unfortunately die this turn. We draw an idol. That'll exile two cards from our graveyard that we can play for free with the idol. So we get a Robert Rel Robin Rob Relic Robber back. And we can make another Seder. 
we don't want to die on board having nothing to show for our trouble, so we put two uh, two satyrs and a dwarf. It's not bad value, really. Um, the army of death and then death is heading our way. Um, one of them is an elephant, so technically not dead. Oh, and there's a kraken in the mix as well. Krakens are not dead. Unfortunately, the Kraken will not be the one to kill us this turn. It'll be probably our own spirits. Drawn in the lock triggers. Another counter for them. Put on the Kraken because the only thing better than a 10 10 is an 11 11. And then they swing in. Our own commanders on the kill squad that brought us down. Well, that's the game, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and if you did, remember to leave a like and subscribe. See you in the next episode of Brawl.